Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Pitt versus North Carolina college basketball matchup on Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024. Of course, if you like all our free picks that we do every day at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks. Just click on the premium picks tab, use that discount code PICK for 15% off. We also have Dime Club and Sharp Trading Plays meant for people who make big bets. If that's you, go ahead and text that number that you see on the screen. They're not available on the website, but they are meant for people who bet big. So go ahead and text. But let's get to this one. Pitt taking on North Carolina. We got ACC college basketball action. And one thing that's nice about being in the new year and uh, doing these college basketball videos, for the most part, we are in conference play. And the thing is, is that makes it a, my life a lot easier because these teams are more on the same level with one another and they're built to play one another so you know instead of having these 35 point spreads you know and, and me covering the games because these are the teams that people are interested in I get to dig into the actual more competitive games and the games that really are going to count and decide who's going to be a force in March and who isn't and I think when we look at this game in particular it's a lot here on the line for the Pitt Panthers who enter this game at 9-4 and four, and the expectations on this season that they were going to take this big jump. We saw them play in the ACC last time out and that was at Syracuse and while they were competitive in the first half against the Cuse, the game really itself was not competitive when all was said and done. On the other side of this one, the North Carolina Tar Heels 9-3 and three on the season, of course, not last year, but the prior year, had gone all the way to the national title game, losing to Kansas in a game that they led pretty good at halftime. And, you know, last year, the Heels came up short. Of course, they lost some players in the transfer portal as well, but still have Armando Baycott in the middle, who's an absolute force in college basketball. The thing is, is that this is the first road game of the season for the Heels. It's not their first game away from Chapel Hill. They've played in a lot of those big tournament games and, you know, those out of conference they have ducked absolutely no one playing against Oklahoma, Kentucky, Yukon, Florida State, Tennessee, Arkansas, Villanova, basically the who's who of college basketball. So when you'll see the three losses against Kentucky, Yukon and Villanova, really not a lot of shame in that, especially when you got the wins over Arkansas and, ten, and put 100 points on the board against Tennessee. Um, you know, and the win over Oklahoma, certainly a big one there, winning by a dozen points. Well, this Carolina team is actually something pretty solid this season. When we look at Pitt, the loss against Syracuse has got to hurt. They had the big win at West Virginia, but losses against Clemson and Missouri in some of those step-up games. The loss also against Florida State. So basically the trend here for Pitt is when they've been called upon to step it up, They've been stepped on. And while North Carolina's numbers don't jump off the page at you, once again, that schedule certainly does. And, you know, all things are not created equal at this point in the season when it comes to ranking and percentages. Because when you look at playing against Tennessee and Villanova and Oklahoma, it's a lot different than playing against the lighter schedule that Pitt has played. So while Pitt's numbers are certainly more impressive and certainly they shoot the three reasonably well, I just think they're up against it against a battle-tested Carolina team. And this isn't enough points to keep me interested. A lot of people might think that the books are baiting you into taking Carolina here. Uh, maybe I'm being baited. I don't care. I'm taking the Carolina Tar Heels and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. They're 100% free and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.